Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 19 of Direwolf20 Server Play Series. Today, joined by Rorax and Mr. R.W. Tema. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. How's it going? How's it going? Not bad. Ah, I'm slowest. Ouch, it's hurting. It's a boomerang. Boomerang? It always, it's a boomerang. It always comes back to me. Lightning ah. gun. <laughs> How's that? I heard that from all, right. all the way over here. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> but can it do this? See that? See yeah. that over there? Oh, right. that's fancy. I want to try that. Can I try it? Yoink. Sure. Yeah, Tema implemented a boomerang, huh? I'm, I'm, I'm down. So, like, I just right-click to throw it? Oh, that's neat. Whoa, I really like how that flies. Like, that... Rorax, did you see this thing? I've already made one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the interior have been discussing it. What uh, what are the mechanics like if it gets stuck behind something? Like if I do this? It can go through walls. Oh, cool. Magic. Magic boomerang. Um, it won't do, if it hits a wall or it hits an enemy, then it stops, it stops doing damage. Um, okay. So you can't sort of damage things through walls. Dude, that's um, awesome. But yeah, and we'll pick up XP and it'll pick up uh, items and bring them to you. That is very nifty. Like, that is super cool. And probably most interesting of all, they work in dispensers. Really? And I'm sure someone like you can probably come up with some interesting ideas for that. I could, I could. Um, so, if it travels through a chest, can it still? Well, I don't know. How, how, I I can see it picking up items, but how would it drop the items somewhere useful? Uh, it, just, it just drops them in front of the dispenser. Oh, so you could do like a hopper or something. Yeah. Nice. That sounds cool. I like it. Magical boomerang requires magical wood, which is just one gold plus bookshelf plus... Is that one experience or one level's worth of experience? That's one level's worth of experience. Okay. Now... So... Because experience is experience, is it level one's worth of experience? Or like, if I'm level thirty, am I going to go to twenty nine? Yep. But if I'm level one, I'll Best. go to level zero. Yeah. Interesting. Um, yeah, and it, it's um, you need um, one point eight's a bit sort of smarter about how it does crafting. So you either need um, so it works in certain um, crafting tables. So it'll work in your inventory. It'll work in the vanilla. And it will work in some um, uh, modded crafting tables. It all depends on whether it can find the player who's crafting it. Right, um, gotcha. And there has to be a player who's crafting it in order for it to work. Nifty. Um, so it'll work in, say, the crafting station. Um, I've okay. checked that. It, it works quite well. You know, it works fine in that. Ooh, resonator, huh? All right, so I want to get started with extra utilities today and it seems like i picked a good day because you just updated the server with all kinds of cool things like the boomerang <laughs> yep pretty much. um what 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 uh there's like a bunch of stuff you added right uh yeah well actually a lot of it doesn't actually have a recipe anymore because i forgot to add those um, <laughs> those so... annoying things those recipes <laughs> yeah so that's okay i'm an op i can just cheat everything in but... and then be uber <laughs> Uh, uh, let me find a place at my base to call extra utilities home. Uh, I don't even know. Sure. Like, how much space do I need? Do I need a decent amount or not Not so much? Um, I don't know yet. It depends on uh, what type of power you're going with. Um, so I think it's a fair amount of space, but it doesn't have to be close to anything. Okay. I'll do it on the other side of my uh, thaumaturgy stuff here, and we'll just kind of let this area be the area that I do some extra utilities in. And eventually, maybe, I might actually like build a proper base to live in instead of just sprawled out all over the world. But I think more this season yeah. has been about let's play with the new things in 1.8 and less about let's do things and build bases and stuff. So that's cool. Ah, why am yeah, I taking slowest damage? Looking at you, Tema. Huh? Ah. I haven't done anything. Yes. What? Never. Um, so I suppose the first thing I want to make is solar panels, you said, to get started with extra utilities? Uh, yep. That's the 
Yeah, that's what to start with. Oh, there we go again with the with the hurting and the pain. That's nah, not me that time. Or the last time, actually. Okay. I think Rorax. Rorax around here. I see. Him. I blame Rorax. Flying around <laughs> up there. I'll be honest. Half the reason I just I I, I want to be able to fly. Like I see Rorax flying around, having a good old time, and I'm like, let's go. I want that. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna make. Much. If I make a dozen solar panels, is that a good start? Uh, you actually, you you might. Oh, crap, I can't remember the recipes. Yeah, sure, make a dozen. Okay, a dozen it is. Um, so I've got a dozen solar panels. So explain to me how power works, because Rorax was kind of making it sound like the soul network in Blood Magic, where uh, it is the cool. conquer rules. They're fancy looking, I'll give you that much. Tim was trying to remember how his mod works. I think the bit that you didn't get current. when you uh, when I explained it to you was that um, it doesn't drain your your power meal. It, you have a set amount and you take from that pool. But okay. the so you have a maximum amount of power and that is determined by your power generators. And then you have the things that um, draw power and they you can have as many of those as you want up to your maximum. Gotcha. Okay. I'll pretend I understood that, and then <laughs> we'll continue, and I'll eventually understand it. <laughs> um, so, Tema, I made solar panels. Now what? <laughs> Power of uh, something oh, no. out of... I think you're breaking up. Ooh. Hello? Yes. Hello, hello. Um, if you come here and look at the solar panels. Yes. Um, you should see 0 out of 12 Grid here power. on the screen. Right. Yep. And power generating is 1. Yep. Um, it'll go down at um, during sort of... Um, Nighttime. I presume nighttime power goes down. Are you talking still? Because I can't hear you now. It stops working at night. Okay. <laughs> cool. So okay. what do I do with this grid power? Well, at the, you need to, uh, the next step is to make a resonator. Okay. Uh, not that one. Not that one. There's a lot of things called resonators. There they are. Okay, cool. Block of coal, redstone, iron. Easy enough. Looks like I can do that. Oh, by the way, blame Timmer for me hitting you with a boomerang. Because he made it very satisfying because it makes an experience gathering sound when you hit a player. Oh, really? It's like arrows. Arrows do that? Yep. Oh, wow. When I you don't hit know my vanilla. Uh, when you hit something with an arrow, it does that. Okay, so what do I do with the resonator? <laughs> Just place it? A lot of code. Oh my goodness, there's things going on here. Uh, quick disclaimer, this is all work in progress. Sure, sure. <laughs> um, so, let's see if we can look up uh, the resonator recipes. Sorry, hang on. Uh, what you're aiming for is to get, it's called stone burnt, which I, is just a placeholder uh, name. But just look up stone burnt. Okay. So polished stone goes into, st and that's it. Okay. Yep. And it requires sixteen power. It says eight. Oh, never mind. I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, it requires eight power. So technically, you only needed eight solar panels. Okay. So basically, 
It requires eight power, so I must have eight solar panels. I can't store the power in any way, right? There's no like energy cells or anything like that? Nope. Okay. But the good news is this is all passive. So okay. So you don't need to supply coal or anything like that. Gotcha. So basically there's no, like like many other power systems, there's like batteries or energy cells or something like that. Um, in your system, it's just, you know, you need eight power, so you generate eight power, and that's done with the solar panels. Yep. Or other, you know, power system type stuff. Okay. And um, there's no wires, so it'll work no matter where you are and no matter what dimension you are and anything like that. Cool. The one downside to this power method, and it's quite a big one, is that if at any point you require more power than you are generating, then anything that requires power will stop working. Okay. So basically, so if I had two of these resonators down and they needed a total of 16 EF, everything would shut down because I'm trying to pull 16 and I can only provide 12. Yep. Okay, that's cool. I kind of dig that. That's interesting. That's definitely yep. a different way to go about it. And if you just sort of look at the in the GUI, uh, the power rises. Right. So it does. It's not always, you know, it's not a constant uh, eight power. It just requires. It's a, you know, it's 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 basically my way of trying to trick you into accidentally overloading your system somehow. Yeah. <laughs> so you think you're fine. And then a few minutes later, it ticks up and everything shuts down. Right. So I'm going to test that by placing down another resonator. I'm going to put some stuff in there, and everything should shut down now because I'm trying to pull 16 and I've only got 12, right? Well, how much is it actually? Well, you're only trying to pull five right now. Oh. Oh, I see. Seven. Okay. Nine. Oh, I see. I got you. All right, so when I hit 12, boom, everything stops. That's interesting. That's cool. So it's not because I had two resonators down. It's that as soon as both resonators reached power level, okay, and if I place down one more solar panel, we'll be able to get up to 13. And that's interesting because if I staggered these two resonators correctly, they could kind of work, right? Yep. Right, so like right now I've got 14 capable and drawing 16, but like it should be fine because this will eventually get up to eight in use and this will eventually get up to, you know, and it won't, that's cool. So we should go from 10 to two like that, awesome. That is, that is cool. I'm cool, I'm, I'm getting that. That is neat. That is definitely cool. Okay. Okay. So I've got some stone burnt. So now I can make more generators? Uh, yep. That sort of opens up what's going to be the first tier of generators. Okay. So I should make a lava one. That sounds cool, right? Uh, sure. Um, yeah, the, the hardest one is actually the water mill because that requires quite a bit of space um, and is not sort of obvious as to how you sort of optimally lay it out. Um, the easiest is the windmill, but that's got very varying power levels because it changes as the wind does. Gotcha. Um, fire mill's probably the most space compact. Okay. Because it just, it requires um, fire below it. If you're lazy that's like it. me, you went for fire mills. Oh, fire mills. Uh, water mills, are, as I said, are the sort of the least compact, but they are the most efficient. Gotcha. They create the more most power. Fire mill place gives two uh, EF when placed over fire. See, I would yeah. think that the lava generator is the best because you can have four lava generators per, per source block. Ah, uh, but it's um, yeah, it's it well, doesn't six, give really. sort of as much. What's that? I don't think it gives as much. Oh, if you're... Maybe it does. Maybe it does. Maybe I'll have to look at it. I'll have to rebalance everything at some point. 
So everything you're hearing right now is going to change, possibly. Possibly. Or maybe won't change. Potentially. Potentially. Do Billcraft tanks retain their inventory when broken now? Uh, I think... I have no idea. I want to go get, like, more than a bucket's worth of lava from a lava source, and I don't want to... Metal barrel. Yeah. I, I found that was resetting, but that might have been a previous version that was more buggy than this one. I'll just get two bu buckets worth, and that should be fine for now. And it's foggy because Thalmcraft. So if I were to do something like this with a bucket, that should be generating nice too. Okay, cool. So now let's see if I'm generating more. So next question, I'm guessing the UI on the side is for piping items in and out kind of thing? Uh, yeah, but it's a bit uh, work in progress. So. Like everything. This is 1.8, yeah, man. Every mod's working. I'm progress. actually, I'm actually think I might replace that system with just every side can input and output. Okay. I um, just not have any auto output. Yeah, we're getting two and two. That's cool. Maybe my next one will go on top, so people can't accidentally walk into it. Aha! Uh, it doesn't work on top. Oh. But you can still put it on top. You, it just doesn't. That has okay. to be an adjacent. Alright, where's my flight ring now? Sorry? I want I want I want a ring that lets me fly. So I need to <laughs> catch a ghast and a cursed lasso and a bat and a golden lasso. That doesn't seem terrible. Yep. Am I wrong or is that not terrible? That's not too bad. Because I'd kill the ghast and it'll go directly into the lasso, right? Uh yes. Is that the same for that a bat? Work. Uh no. Okay, so the bat I need to actually click. Correct. Tim, I want you to know before I found out that uh, the enemy will go straight into the lasso after you've killed it, I was chasing ghasts with a wooden sword so I wouldn't overkill it. <laughs> yeah, so was I, actually. It's That's very hard I... to do when you can't uh, fly. <laughs> it was such a pain. And so I basically said, okay, if you kill it and you've got a cursed lasso, then it... So here's a weird thing, and maybe yeah, somebody this... can come downstairs and tell me if I'm imagining this or if it's just my client, but I'm seeing a lot of block seams. Oh yeah, that's being caused by someone we don't know who. Oh, okay, so that is not my computer dying. No. And Hooray! those blocks are actually slightly larger physically than what is shown on screen. Okay, cool. Step assist will not work with blocks anymore, you'll notice. I'm having no problem with step assist. Interesting. Yeah, no, my step assist is fine. Maybe it's Thomcraft causing it. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh my Dire laying down my accusations mind. that are completely unfounded. What's up? Yeah. I, I hear a bat. I heard a bat. I hear a bat. I've been getting sort of scenes issues like sort of plants. It might be me actually. But only with certain sort of blocks. Well you didn't change the, the size of blocks at all, did you? No, I didn't. But it's I think it's sort of a texturing issue. It's sort of when there's a transparent texture next to uh, sort of a stone one, it just picks up a little bit of the transparency. Cause come here, Dima. Uh or actually down here is probably better. Uh, just like look at the bounding box with the with one of these middle boxes and oh I see yeah see it's actually slightly bigger than the block that is not supposed to happen and it's enough to affect the actual like everyday walking around all right now where'd that bat go we'll come back in a minute a... once I find that bat there he is I wonder if it's floating point error shenanigans well, it's so small that it could be. 
So let me make sure I understand the I way is, the lasso is supposed to work, right? The, the the friendly mob lasso, whatever. You do whatever you want. You pick up mobs the same way the old one worked. The yep. cursed lasso is you have to get the mob down to two health or less, and then you can pick them up just like the golden. Or... Um, it's you know. a bit... Uh, it's a bit more sort of lenient now. I think it's something like four hearts. Oh, okay. And if you do that, you can place it back in the world now that it's fixed. Yeah. Cool. And uh, now, if you um, once you've done once you picked it up once, then every time you put it down again, you can pick it up again. Okay. Um, cool. So if it heals, or you heal it. Now, if you kill it, you capture the soul and you can use it for crafting, but you can't place it back in the world. Correct? Correct. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to go kill a ghast because I don't need to place it back in the world. I want to use it for a crafting recipe so I can have flight. And we'll come back. All the other thing, Tema, uh, that I wanted to ask before we do that, if I want to fly around... Ooh, cobalt ore. I don't even think I have a pick that can break that. Nope. Um, if I want to uh, fly around, do I need to chunk load my solar panels uh yes you do okay and that's how it's gonna stay or that's temporary until something that works. is how it's gonna stay okay but you have a chunk loader in your mod as well uh yeah i saw that and it, re it requires power as well okay cool mm -hmm. then we will come back in a minute once i kill a ghast all right guys we are back rank. i just got the ghast soul so i'm running back to my base Woot. Return to sender worked, Tema. Though I don't think I got the oh. achievement for it, but I definitely returned to sender that thing. <laughs> and I got the soul. So I can make one of those. I need 32 power to fly. That's correct. Okay. But that'll be in use, what, as long as I have the ring in my inventory or as long as I'm actively flying? As long as you have it in your inventory. Okay. So basically... I want 32 power. As long as it's in my inventory, it's going to be used whether I'm flying or not. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I'm okay with that. Because um, I should be able to get pretty close to 32 power soon. I want more of this. I want more. I need a faster resonator. That's Why not I'm more thinking. resonators? No, I need a faster resonator. Why not more resonators? Because that's slow. <laughs> is it? Isn't each resonator technically a, mul a multiple? Um, each one yeah. is a percentage reduction in time needed to craft a lot of things. Yes. Okay. Those are words that were said. Many hands make light work. That's another way to put it. So I'm at 26, so I really only need eight more, right? Am I doing that math right? That'll be 34, so six more, really, but that is cool. So sure. let's make... Uh, but don't forget that these uh, solar panels won't work at night. Okay. So you Correct. can't fly at night. Unless I get moon panels. Yeah. Those will work at night. And nice. they give extra power during the full moon. Ooh, that's cool. I've got an angel ring. Look at me. I should have no problem making... I should probably do more smooth stone. Ooh, potatoes. Somebody was cooking. People keep coming to my base and then they make a giant flux mess. Is there anything in your yeah. mod that I can use to smite people who make a giant flux mess? Um, I could poke them with your boomerang. I could. I could poke someone with a boomerang. Well, I was big. I was vaguely thinking of adding um, basically a sort of an equivalent of a security camera that will sort of keep a log of sort of people it sees and things they do. 
See, I've done that before with um, computer craft, which was cool. Um, I wouldn't mind not having to write programming to do that though. Why are you overloaded? Oh, because I have an in okay. Yeah, <laughs> I have to bring in my inventory. <laughs> that is a thing that is gonna have to be dealt with. Okay. Yeah, I might change it to the only when you're flying. Um. Yeah, but don't, don't you get free fall? Technically, aren't you protected from fall damage while you've got it in your inventory? Um. Uh, no. Um, you could, basically, you're allow, allowed to fly while it's in your inventory. That's all the server cares about. It, it says you're allowed to fly, and if you're allowed to fly, then you don't get full damage. Oh. Alright, so I've got 32, so now if I take these out of here, I should be able to fly. Oh, look at me, I fly. So, complaint. Ah, what? I, I need to complain about your flight. Yeah? What about it? It's not taking my run speed into effect. Yeah, this oh. should do. Start running first and then fly. Oh, if I'm running first and then fly. But then if I stop running or like make a turn in air, it doesn't. Now oh. try this one. Fly and then hold press, control. Press the sprint button. Oh, hello. I always <laughs> I always sprint by doing the double tap. That's what I found too. That's interesting. And then helpful commenters helped me. Nice. Okay, cool. All right. So my complaint is less, but hey, you know what? You maybe, it's well, maybe it is taking invalid. into account my flight. Let me take these off. Uh, I haven't changed anything since. One seven, so yeah. Okay, no, it's cool. I'm down with it. But now, if I want to do um, this brick stuff, it's not going to work until mm -hmm. I put my angel ring in the chest, and now they will run again. Cool. Okay. I'm done with that. I think I'm going to take Rox's advice and make more resonators. We require more resonators. We require more Vespian gas. Build additional pylons. You require more overlords. I haven't played StarCraft in ages. <laughs> Hmm, I think I just found a bug. Yes, confirmed. Hey, Chug. What's that? Hey, Chug. You found a bug. You found a bug. I did. Is it What's spinning up? in circles? Uh, no, I need to get my stuff back that I just lost. Um, if you break a resonator, it loses its inventory and does not give it to you. Ah. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Yeah. That's not so. too hard to fix. I figured it wouldn't be. That's why we test. Okay. So, what other cool stuff can I do with extra utilities? Well, not a huge amount at the moment, but you okay. can create... Uh, um, uh, let's see. There's um, something called Red Coal. Uh, name subject to change, which uh, you can make in the resonator, okay. and that gives, a, a, I want to say, eight times the um, power of sort of the coal that was used to make it, oh, that's but cool. only when your grid system is powered. Oh, okay. Otherwise, it will only give the same amount as okay. regular coal. Powered coal? Red coal. Powered coal. That's neat. Yeah. Um, so lunar reactive dust does solar panels at night, basically, right? 
Uh, yes. And they generate what? One? One again. Okay, but only at night. Okay, cool. Yeah, and they, I think they do tw uh, 1.25 if there's a full moon. Okay. Now this is bound to my player, right? Uh, yes. Ooh, does um, the spotlight it... work? Yep. Oh, I want to try the spotlight. Sun crystal, huh? How do I charge the sun crystal? Is it just standing in the sun? Yeah, just throw it on the ground. Ah. Sunlight. Okay. I want to try out the spotlight real quick before we have to wrap up because it's getting close. Okay, it's on the ground and there's sun. Ooh, there's moment. like a little glowing effect going on. That's cool. Look at it glow. Look at it glow! Will it ding or something when it's done? Uh, well, that's not ooh. a microwave die. I know, but oh, it's done. Yeah, look at that. It's glowing a lot. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to snag my sunburn stuff. So I want to try out the spotlight. And luckily, I get to make it nighttime with magic. Your OP. Oh, wow. I get eight spotlights out of this recipe. That's cool. You can have a rave. What's that? Did I change that? You can have a rave. I got eight spotlights, that's all I'm telling you. Ah. Probably. Now, is this the thing that you teased like a while ago? Uh, yes. So I'm gonna place this here. And. Ah, yes, it is nighttime. And therefore I have no grid power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on. Break that block for me, Tema. I wanna place it like down in a dramatic effect. Okay, hang on. Uh, where are you? Did you see where I placed it? Yes, I got it. Cool. Okay. So now my grid power should be eight. So I have enough to do one spotlight. All right, you ready? I'm going to go do it over here where it's really dark. Dun, 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 dun. Is it intended to give eight per recipe or? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Yay. Confirm, when never changing down, ever, says it's, Tema. Uh, okay, when you place it down, it sort of initially faces in the direction that you place it. Okay. Oh, look at that. Wow, that is cool. You know what's interesting, though, is it doesn't update the F4 thing. So is that just rendered on the client? Um, no, actually. It's uh, basically using a core mod to... Um, sort of act as act as an in between between the getter between getting the sort of the client state and the chunks stored lighting gotcha. so because of that it's actually you know fairly efficient because um, okay. it doesn't have to, it uh, it doesn't have to recalculate it um, one thing is that the light will travel through blocks that's cool I'm okay with that and that's inherent part of it right I mean that um, makes sense but anyway, Can you get it to the point where it'll of, uh, prevent mob spawns, or you don't want it to do that? It does prevent mob spawns. It just, oh. um, the F4 is reading the chunks, sort of stored lighting value, gotcha. which this is not affecting. So it will actually prevent mob spawns, even though F4 Correct. is lying. Okay, that's cool. I'm okay with yeah. that. That's neat. But that and draws fact, a constant, what, four power? Uh, yes. Gotcha. And that at is some fancy. point, I'm going to be adding... You're going to be ending what? Yeah. Who what now? So I missed it'll what you always, said there. I will make something that instead of, um, that will remove light from oh. a given area. Now that's cool. So, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. So, um, anything else I can check out in next utilities right now? Oh, is the piping system in? I see you don't have recipes, but. No. Okay. Can I put items in trash cans again? Uh, yes. Okay. That made me cry. What's power overload do? Uh, work in progress. Cool. That Ooh, is can for... I make a builder's wand yet? Uh, no. Aww. Uh, the power overload is going to be for PvP. If you want to overload someone, to, someone else's power system temporarily, that'll give you like 10 seconds of, of them being unable to do anything. Nice. What about the power manager? What's but, that? Um... Uh, 
you can, can make that, and that'll give you a list of sort of everything you've um, created and constructed. That's cool. I want to try how much. I just place it in the world. Sorry. Oh no, it's, uh, I just write. It's an okay. item. Nice. That's cool. That's pretty useful, actually. That's very useful. That's exceedingly useful. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up the episode. We're probably way past the point. So for now, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and maybe see a little bit more of extra utilities, maybe see some other stuff. All right, take it easy.